Are you thinking about bringing a claim, an employment related claim, to the Workplace Relations Commission? If you are, then you should watch this video because in it I'm going to give you three things, three critical things that you need to consider. Okay, first thing is your chances of success. You need to consider your chances of success. It's a stressful enough thing to go to the Workplace Relations Commission or the Labour Court or indeed the Civil Courts and bring a claim in a confrontational sort of an environment. And if your chances of success are very poor, well then that's something you, cer you should certainly consider. So at the outset you need to get a good professional assessment or analysis of your chance of winning and you know then you may be perfectly happy to go ahead and fight your corner and stand up for yourself and uh, forget about the stress or put it aside for that one or two days or whatever and that's fair enough but certainly at the outset you do need a good clear-headed rational analysis of your situation and your chances of success the second critical thing that you need to consider is the cost of bringing your claim. You might be perfectly happy to go and do it yourself, but you probably wouldn't be well advised to do so. To give yourself the best chance of success, you really do need professional help, and I would recommend or suggest that you get a solicitor. So there's a cost involved in that, obviously. Now, if you go to the civil courts and you win a case, well then generally costs follow the event. And that means that the winner takes all. So if you went to the civil courts and won your case, then the certainty or the almost certainty is that the other side is going to pay for your costs. However, that is not the case in the Workplace Relations Commission or in the Labour Court. In those fora, the, each party pays their own costs. So that's something that you need to consider, the cost of bringing your claim and the cost of instructing a solicitor who might indeed, if it was a particularly complex case, or if there was a lot of witnesses, or if it was a pretty valuable case, might even instruct a barrister. So clearly, you know, the solicitor and barrister are going to have to be paid for. That's something that you need to consider. Finally, the third critical thing that you need to consider is the payoff or the outcome. What is the potential payoff? If the case, for example, was for a psychological or psychiatric injury suffered as a result of workplace bullying, that's a very, very big case, and you're probably looking at circuit court or high court for that. If it was an unfair dismissal claim, then you're looking at potentially a maximum of two years' salary if you win that case. And further on down the line, if your case was simply for the fact that the employer didn't give you a written statement of your terms and conditions of employment, the maximum payout there is one month's salary, one month's remuneration for you. So you need to consider the possible outcome, the potential outcome that can occur um, if you're successful. So there, uh, there are the three things that I think you should really consider very, very carefully. One, your prospects of success. Two, the cost of bringing your claim. And three, the potential outcome, the potential reward. Once you've done that, well then, you know, you're in a good position to make a good, sound decision. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, you might just give us the thumbs up below or subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you have any questions, stick them in the box below the, below the video. Thanks for watching.